Hello, good afternoon, my friends. It is Tuesday, just past 2 p.m. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late, just setting everything up here. Um, but I am looking forward to connecting with whoever is able to join in with me live. I forgot to send out an email to um, my newsletter people to remind them, but hopefully some of you are in the groove now that at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I normally hop on to my Facebook page to share some stamping inspiration. So we'll see who's able to join in. Maybe lots of people are out enjoying the sunny weather, at least where I am uh, in Markham. We've got sunshine. Hi, Debbie. How's the weather out there in Edmonton? I was just saying out here in Markham, the weather is lovely. It's not too hot, uh, but we've got sunshine. So I, uh, I just love sunshine. <laughs> It everything almost seems a little bit bearable when there's sunshine. Um, so I'm excited to share today. We are continuing our um, sharing with the lovely you product of the month stamp set. So I'm excited to share um, some stamping with that today, but I'd love to hear how everyone else is doing. Um, we did have a winner from last week. So, oh, that's, that's about what it is here. It's probably a little warmer than 20 degrees, but the sunshine is great. Uh, so for those of you that are new and have never joined in before, I love to read your comments and uh, feel free if you're enjoying the video to share it so that others can enjoy my stamping inspiration as well. So just by commenting or um, sharing, you'll be entered into a drawing. So last week's winner is, oh, I just had a mind blank. I think it's Jennifer V. Um, so I did comment in the feed. So Jennifer, you'll have to get me your personal message, me your address, and I'll send you a little gift. Okay. So if you're just tuning in, uh, don't be shy. I'd love to hear how everyone's doing. Okay. So what happened with me last weekend was quite a busy weekend, uh, because I had my stamp camp. So <laughs> So normally stamp camp is an event where there's about, you know, 40, 45 women and we crowd into this church basement and we stamp 10 cards with all different new product and touch everything. And uh, then we have uh, like a Greek meal and there's prizes and stamping demonstrations. So that's what we normally do at stamp camp. It's been a tradition for years and years now. Every time there's a new catalog, there's a new stamp camp. So um, it had actually filled up. It had reached capacity probably sometime January, February. So, um, but we had no idea what was going to happen. So uh, what I ended up doing is changing the stamp camp so that we had sort of two people at a time coming to my garage and I had put the tables in my garage pretty far apart and um, as much as possible left the garage door open so there was good airflow and um, uh, yeah so hi Julie oh Gail Gail says she can't watch long <laughs> your kids are gonna bring groceries that sounds fantastic don't worry you can watch the replay later Gail so changing it up that way on the one hand was awesome because I finally got to see some of the stamping peeps and stamp with them and at least see their happy faces when they were stamping. Um, but it certainly stretched out the stamp camp from just kind of a one-time event over a three-day period. So it was busy, 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 um, but it was good. It was good. So one of the cards, I'm the card I'm going to show today is actually a card that we did at my stamp camp, which I loved. And... Part of the reason why I love it, I think, is because I like designed it from my brain. So I don't know if you're like me, but uh, when you design or make cards, do you always design it from your brain, from ideas from your brain? Or do you look at like inspiration and ideas? I tend to like go to Pinterest or look in the catalog and kind of... Um, we call it case, copy and share everything. So I would kind of case one of the ideas. I might change up the color, change this and that. Um, but uh, sometimes it's an exact case, but I really like this card. I think it's cause it's like, 
it just came out for me. I took the stamp set, I took the paper, and then this is what I created. So I can't wait to share it with you today. And it's using our product of the month, The Lovely You. So why don't I flip this over and get right to some stamping and sharing and go ahead and keep commenting and tell me how you y'all are doing. And I will also maybe share some of the cards from my stamp camp to give you some extra inspiration. Uh, who's having fun with the new catalog? It's always nice to get new and fresh goodies to play with and look at and lots of eye candy and all of that. So I'll show you some of the cards from that. So I am going to be doing another stamp camp in August. I'm calling it the socially safe stamp camp because I might have to do the two by two stamping in my garage again. Or if some places open up, I might be able to rent somewhere. And then maybe we could have people spaced out like you know, maybe we could have six or 10 people at a time. Whoa, that might uh, make it a little easier instead of stretching it over three days. We'll see. Okay, so let me flip this over and I'll share some of the samples from Stamp Camp, share about an upcoming class and then stamp a card for you. Okay, okay, let's flip it over. And hi, Carol. Okay, my desk is super, super messy. I have been doing a lot of stamping lately, so I can't promise that uh, it'll be clean here. Oh, good, Gail. I was just thinking if your stuff came. I was going through my lists. And uh, going through my lists and wondering if people had gotten the stuff when I do a direct order. Hi, Laura. Okay, so let's, oh, I forgot again to put on my special microphone. Oh, well. Okay. There we go. Is that a little better? Hi, Serena. Okay, so a few things coming up. Uh, upcoming class on the prized peony stamp set. So I think I might have showed them last week. Is These are a couple of samples of my upcoming class. We're actually going to do four designs, two of each design. So if you want to sign up for that class, it's $50. It uses the prized peony stamp set. And see, look at that gorgeous flower there. Um, so if you want to register for that, don't delay because um, things are already selling out like crazy in the Stampin' Up! warehouse. So I think this, oh, I'm saying it wrong, peony. I think the peony bundle is going to possibly sell out. So I'm encouraging people, if you're interested in this class, to register early um, so that I can get the things ordered before they kind of disappear and go on back order. Okay, so that's that class. I'll put the information in the in the uh, post later about how to sign up or just let me know and I'll follow up with payment. So it's $50 to make the eight cards and you get the peony stamp set included. Okay, next, um, let me show you a couple of things. Um, okay, so... Here we have everyone at Stamp Camp got a little treat. And so I wanted to kind of showcase some of the new in colors. So hopefully you can see how I use the in colors on this little matchbook. But there's no matches inside. There's like a little yummy treat inside. Um, so you can see kind of this is using um, the new pattern stamp set from the catalog. I should get it to show you guys. Um, I'll look for it later. And there's the Just Jade that I'm going to use on the card today. And the card stock is Magenta Madness. But I thought this would be a fun little treat. When people came to my garage to stamp, I tried to give each person one. If you came to stamp camp and you didn't get one, let me know because I have extras, which means I probably forgot to give. It was like, here's your make a take bag. Here's your like goodie bag. Here's your special treat I made you. Sometimes I missed a step somewhere. Anyway, so um, yeah, I just wanted to brighten up the, the garage a little bit, but I don't think anyone really minded. I didn't mind. I was happy to see people anyway, even if it was two by two stamping. Someone said it reminded them of Noah's Ark, you know, like two by two. They came to my garage and stamped the pieces for stamp camp. Okay, so let me show you uh, a couple of the samples. I can't remember whether I've showed some of them before, but just to give you... So there's a lot of new bundles in the catalog, in this new catalog. So if your budget is screeching a little bit, 
don't despair. You can get a bundle for free, whether it's the jars one or the sunflower one. There's so many bundles. You can get it for free just for joining my team and purchasing the starter kit. So that's a great deal that's on right now. Let's see. Uh, maybe, let's see. Here's another one. Okay, that's the Many Mates bundle with that gorgeous die here. So those are a few of the cards that we did. And so how we did it, it was so funny, is that uh, um, because I kind of had to give people one hour time slots to get everyone through the stamping, um, people just did the stamping in the garage. They didn't do all the embellishments. And then afterwards we all met on Zoom to kind of assemble and see how it went together and, and put it together. So that's what we did. Okay, so that's here's another one. I think I might have showed this on my Facebook page before. Okay, that's that Blossoms in Bloom one. So you could do this with any color, but do you see the second layer underneath here? I hope you can see it. It's using vellum, which is uh, gives a nice accent, I think. Not as harsh as white, a little softer, and lets that magenta madness show through. Okay, so those were some of the cards from Stamp Camp that I wanted to show you. I told you about the prized peony class. The deadline to sign up for that is the beginning of July, but as I said, do not wait um, because of the different supply issues going on. Okay, let's dive into the stamping. And uh, everything's very messy on my table, so hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully you guys can track with me here. Okay, so we're going to use the Lovely You stamp set. And so in case you are new or you uh, aren't aware, each month I pick a product to kind of showcase in my Facebook Lives on my Tuesday at 2. So this month it's the Lovely You stamp set. And if you choose to shop, feel free. You can just head to my website, genevieve.stampinup.net, click the Shop Now button, and make sure to use this host code uh, on the shopping cart page because when you do, you will qualify to get four tutorials um, using the product of the month. And then on top of that, if your order is $50 or more, you will get the make and take supplies for the four cards that I've been showcasing each week um, on my Tuesday at 2. So I should have brought over the two cards, um, but let's get started with today's project and then maybe I'll go grab those cards later. Okay, so today I'm going to be using the Just Jade uh, cardstock, one of the new in colors. And let's put a score line here. And I know I say this every Tuesday. If you don't have a good trimmer, think about getting our Stampin' Up! trimmer because it's got um, a trimming blade, but it's also got a scoring blade. So which is perfect if you're a card maker uh, because it just helps give that nice score line on your cards there. Okay, and people always ask me, once you score it, which way do you fold? So where the indent is goes on the outside of the card. Where the bump is goes on the inside. Okay, so that's our Just Jade. And just so you guys know, if you're new to card making, this is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. So it's basically a piece of cardstock cut in half. So one sheet of cardstock will make you two cards, which is a great cost-effective feature of card making. I personally think, well, I don't know. Some people might disagree, but tell me what you think. I think card making is a great hobby. And, uh, you know, in the way of hobbies, it's not the most expensive hobby one could have. <laughs> yeah, my son and my husband went out golfing the other day. They didn't go to a golf course. They just went to the driving range. But even just going to practice at the driving range um, has a bit of a cost involved too. So I think if they take up golfing because of this pandemic and trying to find an outside sport, um, it's certainly gonna, gonna cost. Whereas I can be happy no matter the weather in here crafting away. So I'm gonna use this flower. Of course we could use any of the lovely flowers. I haven't even used this whole set. There's 18 stamps in this stamp set, which is great. Okay, everybody's really quiet today, probably because I didn't remind people I'd be on. And if you're anything like me, you're losing track of the day and the time. I'm going to take my bracelet off so it doesn't go into my ink pad. Is anyone like me losing track of the day and the time? And I'm going to stamp off 
and then create a little bit of a background. Oh, Debbie, I'm sorry you're struggling with some health issues, but you're not the only one. I have some girls on my team, oops, stamp off, and um, who have told me the same thing, that our team meetings or the crafting, it helps them kind of forget some of the stressful troubles that are going on right now. So I think of it as a happy escapism. Okay, so I just created a bit of a tone on tone background here. Okay, and then I'm gonna use the flowers for every season designer series paper. So in case you didn't know, this is a new designer series paper, the flowers for every season. It's six by six size. Um, and all the colors that are used, most of the colors that are used in this uh, paper are using the in colors. So you can see there's the magenta madness, the misty moonlight. So this DSP pack would go really well with an in color um, package of cardstock. Um, the two together work really well. So uh, anyway, that's why I decided to use this DSP because our new in colors are lovely. Okay, so maybe I'll put this here. Something like that. So let's get our new, I keep wanting to call it snail, but now it's called stamp and seal. Our new adhesive. Let me grab that. Oh, see, this is the thing. You can get both sides going, but I think I'm going to use the colorful side. I like pink. If you look at my logo, you'll know I like pink. My Stampin' for Fun logo is, is pink. It's pretty close to Magenta Madness, I think, my logo. I've always liked pink as a child. In my childhood bedroom, I even had a pink bed. <laughs> I think it's just a happy color, so. Okay, so let's put that down. And then this stamp set, the Lovely You stamp set, bundles with, um, oh, thanks, Sharon. Um, I don't know, during these times, sometimes it's really hard to stay positive. <laughs> But we got to try, because what are we supposed to do? Stop trying? So I am going to keep trying to be positive. Some days are harder than others. I'm sure you guys can relate. So I'm using a piece of Just Jade here, and I've already pre-cut this label out. This is one of the new dye um, bundles. Let's see whether I have it here. This is the Tasteful Labels dies. So actually... These labels, there's tons of different shapes. Can you see that? So this shape just came from one of the dies, but uh, if you're looking for a good label set, the Tasteful Labels one is great. You've got circles, you've got larger labels, smaller labels, it's great. So I've been using this a lot since I got it. So I pop that out and then I'm gonna cut a piece of Whisper White here. And I'm going to cut it at the three, I think, uh, three quarters. So just shy of an inch. So we'll do three, three quarter inch here. Let's try that and see how that looks. I always have scrap paper lying around. And then I'm not sure the best width. Let's try, let's try three and a quarter maybe. I don't know if that's too long. That might be too long. Let's try three inches because I want it to sit in the little die that I've already cut out. Oh, are you having some trouble with the stamp and seal? Okay, so I'll give you, I mean, the main tip I've had is sometimes um, the adhesive kind of like stretches out and then when you break it, it's like this part right here doesn't have adhesive on it. So you just have to put your finger up here and just roll the roller a bit to advance the adhesive. That's the only thing I've noticed so far. I'm still in the testing it out phase. I just got it not long ago, so I'm trying it out myself. Okay, so let's pick a sentiment that we can stamp on here. Um, all of these are nice, the cherished friend, Trust me, you're lovely, smile. These are all lovely sentiments. Okay, so let's see. Let's try this one. Yeah, I think that'll fit on there. 
Okay. Oh, so Carol says that it's working well for her. It's definitely, I noticed that it runs a lot smoother than the snail. So I guess that's why they replaced the snail adhesive with the, with the stamp and seal. I'm sure they're just trying to make improvements. I'm going to use the soft suede ink for my sentiment. I haven't tried the plus yet. Um, I definitely noticed the stamp and seal is stickier than the snail. So I'm like, oh, I'm curious about the plus. Okay. There. Oh, oh, I have a little mark. Let's see whether we can do it again. Yeah, give it a try, Debbie. I don't know. I mean, occasionally you will get like kind of a... Okay. Hmm. Which one should we go with? I guess we're going with this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, uh, as I mentioned, the lovely U stamp set. If you want to purchase it in a bundle and purchase the two together, you actually save 10%. But don't forget, if you purchase the starter kit and join my team during the month of June, you can choose this as your free bundle. So then the price is absolutely right. Then it's free. And we have lots of uh, things that go on on our team. Let's see. I probably should have punched it before I stamped it to see, make sure the saying still stays on here. I'll show you what's unique about this. Yep, I think that's good. What's unique about this punch here is um, you see there's different kind of uh, design at the end. And then it's got all these grooves because it does three different sizes of paper. So I think it does half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch. So it's really like six punches in one. <laughs> so that's kind of a great, neat idea there. Okay, so we'll stick this on. Did I stick this on? Oh, I stuck it on a bit crooked, didn't I? Oh, well, it's handmade. We're not going to worry about it. Let me get my dimensional. Oh, my dimensionals just fell behind my table. So I guess we're not using dimensionals. We're going to stick it on. Let me just make sure I've got it going the right way here. Okay. Stick that on. And then I would use dimensionals. But they just fell behind my table, so we'll stick it down. Oh, yep. There we go. And then we can put this on top and finish up our card, but it needs an embellishment. Oh, see? This is exactly one of those times where you're rolling and it doesn't come out right away. Sometimes you have to advance it here. So I just kind of give a little roll, and then it helps it to go. Okay. No check at the end needed. See, I have a habit because it feels so much like the old fast fuse to me. It makes me want to check at the end. I should have watched there. Stampin' Up! did put out a video, but I'm always like that. I'm so excited about getting my new product. I'm not interested in watching a video when I get it. I'm interested in using it when I get it. So unfortunately, these enamel dots, I think they're sold out right now, but I love them. They're in the in colors. So as soon as they become available again, you should nab them because they add a little bit of fun to the card. Right? Doesn't that add a little bit of something? A little something extra? Okay, what color should we do here? Uh, we need maybe a cinnamon cider one here. I should have got my pick, pick tool. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, we should add another embellishment. I mean, the card is fine as it is, but um, I have a little bit of the new twill ribbon, which come in the in colors as well. And here I am showing this to you. It's probably sold out. A lot of things are sold out. So please, if you have your catalog and you have it all marked up with your favorite things, I would not wait. I would just go ahead, head to my online store, genevieve.stampinup.net and place your order. Get what you can now. Just with the pandemic and everything going on, a lot of things are having trouble getting restocked if they come from China and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. And then this way, if you shop on my online store, you can also get, um, if your order's $50 or more, you can get the make and take pieces for the four cards that I showcased 
this month in June. So this is one of them. So when I send out the card packets, I pre-cut everything for you. So the only thing that's, and I'll include, um, well, I won't be able to get these dots. I don't think I might have enough. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I would include some other gems in there. I'd include the ribbon. I'd pre-cut and pre-punch everything so that you would get that as part of your make and take packet. Let me see if I can find the other cards. So this was the one that I did in week one, and this was the one I did in week two, and this is week three, okay? So I know you guys should be kind of used to used to how things roll now, those of you that tune in every week, um, but you never know, we might have some new people tuning in that aren't as familiar with card making or familiar with Stampin' Up! So hopefully you can see how the color coordination really makes the cards come together, how the Magenta Madness ribbon goes great with the DSP, the enamel dots match the cardstock, and the DSP. So this is one of the great, great features of Stampin' Up! products. And then we just put them together to create pretty things. So when you get the card making packets, when um, they go free, it's like a free class to anybody who places an order on my online store using this host code. Your order just has to be $50 or more to get the make and take packets. If it's under $50, you'll still get the four tutorials. Okay, and then if it's over 50, you'll get the tutorials and the make and take packets. So I pretty much just send all the little pieces and all the little embellishments. Everything's pre-cut for you. So the only thing you'd need is the stamps and the ink, okay? And a lot of times I'm using pretty neutral ink on these cards this month, so it shouldn't be too complicated. But hopefully you can see why Stampin' Up! bundled this stamp set and punch together. The words here go great with this punch, okay? Because this punch kind of makes any size label, just depending on what size strip you cut, then you can just punch out and decorate the ends, okay? So that is our stamping demonstration for this week. Now make sure to tune in next week to see uh, the fourth card that I'll be doing in this series, showcasing the lovely U stamp set. And then I know that there are five Tuesdays in June. So I am going to give myself a sort of vacation. I guess we could call it a staycation because I probably can't go anywhere. Uh, it, I've decided it's my week off to um, just take a little bit of a break, um, enjoy some time with my family, hopefully, and be outside, um, transitioning to, to uh, doing my stamping classes all online can be a little bit draining. Um, happy that I can still work, happy that I can still share stamping with you guys, um, but it's a little... Yeah, so I just decided I'd block out a vacation time for me. Um, also because I would have been going to Maui with the Stampin' Up! crew and meeting all my friends and having a good time getting pampered in Maui. And obviously that trip has been postponed. So um, I thought just because Stampin' Up! can't send me to Maui this summer, I can still take a little break for myself. So uh, don't be surprised if you don't, you probably won't see me on the fifth Tuesday. Um, but you will see me next week, Tuesday at 2, to show off another card. Okay, so let me flip this around so that I can uh, say hello, farewell, and all of that good stuff with you. Um, did anyone have any questions? Um, thank you, Carol. I hope to enjoy my time off. I hope that I will be blessed with wonderful weather. Um, I mean, I'll still work a little bit, I'm sure, but I probably won't spend all day in my craft cave, which I normally do. And I think I'm pretty blessed, right, to, during this pandemic to still have been able to work, still have been able to um, bring a little bit of paycheck home to the family and still be able to do something I love and play with beautiful things. So if you've ever thought about dabbling with Stampin' Up!, there's absolutely no risk, no obligation. You just purchase the starter kit, which is $165 of product, but you pay only $135, no tax. Uh, sorry, no shipping and no tax in most provinces. Everyone gets the free shipping. And um, just during June, you get to get a free bundle of your choice. So, I mean, I'm sure it's being added on. There's probably like a $200 
value of freebies included in your kit because you also get a free paper pumpkin um, something like that so I would love to have you join my team you can uh, do it as a business you can do it as a hobby you can do it for the friendship for the community there's so many perks uh, let me know if you have any questions about that so yeah anyway um, I'm happy to have this as my job but you're right I need I'm happy to take a little bit of time off too I don't think there's anywhere we can really go I was trying to think like my husband's like maybe we should go to Niagara Falls but I'm like hmm I don't know do I want to stay in a hotel like in a closed area with other people I mean I don't know how many people are going to hotels now um, and then do I really want to drive all the way to Niagara Falls and back in one day so I'm not sure so if you have any suggestions of what I can do on my staycation I would love to hear it uh, actually the reality is my husband still has to work it's the last week of school and all that sort of stuff or the week right after the last week of school so he'll be really busy so um, I don't know what we could do I tried to look at the zoo website and see the uh, they used to have these like you could book a time to drive through your car with your car and look at the animals but I couldn't find that information anyway so if you have any ideas but I am looking forward to a little bit of time off so good to chat with you all um, and we'll chat with you next week thanks bye